Cambodia. To many Westerners, it seemed a paradise, another world, a secret world. But the war in neighboring Vietnam burst its borders, and the fighting soon spread to neutral Cambodia. In 1973, I went to cover this sideshow struggle as foreign correspondent of the New York Times. It was there in the war-torn countryside amidst the fighting between government troops and the Khmer Rouge guerrillas that I met my guide and interpreter, Dith Pran, a man who was to change my life in a country that I grew to love and pity. This is a big story, a major story, you understand that? We are got, got to get down there. If the war keeps going like this, the future could be very bad. All right, I've arranged for the evacuation of you and your family. So now it's up to you, what do you want to do? In a country shattered by war, you watch bombs, you sure? I think many, many died, I don't know. And torn by revolution. After what the Khmer Rouge have been through, I don't think they're going to be exactly affectionate toward Westerners. Two men would learn the price of survival. They say that when this place goes up, they think that a lot of people are going to get killed. Of freedom. Change my photograph for a photograph of Pran, and he's a British subject. And friendship. All foreign journalists are going to leave Cambodia. I won't leave you. I try to escape to Thailand right now. You know, Pran is not going to last five minutes out there. One would leave to tell his story and win the Pulitzer Prize for international reporting. Anyone who knows my work will know that half of this belongs to Dith Pran. One would stay to face his destiny and make his escape to freedom. But both would never forget what they saw. Nobody gets to go in there. If I thought I could, I would. What they felt. He stayed because I wanted him to stay. What they experienced in the killing fields.